Hey guys, welcome back to Decibel TV. I'm Chris Woods and I'm here at one of my favourite gyms today, Monster Gym in Enfield. We're going to train chest today and we're going to take you through four moves to pump up your chest, engage all your muscle fibres and really start to train the shape of your upper chest. We're going to start right here on the bench press. We're going to do one warm up set and then we're going to go into four working sets where we progressively up the weight a little bit every time. We're aiming for 10 to 12 reps, so any, as much as you can manage in that rep range and we're going to really focus on keeping the tension all the way throughout the movement. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as you might have noticed from the warm up just now, I don't actually touch the bar on my chest almost ever when I'm doing bench. There's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is just to avoid injury. What I find is once you go past parallel, you put a lot of pressure on the shoulder joint and the anterior delt, and that's where shoulder injuries come from, especially when you push in the big weight. Also what I find is if you do stop a few inches off and you don't lock out all the way to the top, you keep the tension in the pecs the whole time, which essentially is gonna mean a bigger pump and more fiber damage, meaning you're gonna grow faster. So keep that in mind next time you hit the bench. Okay guys, that's the bench press done. So now we're gonna move on to incline dumbbell press. I always try with chest workouts to make sure I incorporate the dumbbells at some point. It means you've gotta work each side of your chest independently, whereas obviously in the bar, you can cheat a little bit if you've got one more dominant side. We're gonna aim for exactly the same as before, 10 to 12 reps. What we're gonna do though with our four working sets is break them in half. We're gonna do two sets at this height, then we're gonna drop the incline by one point and we're gonna increase the weight to change the angle and to keep things challenging the whole way through. All right guys, so we're on to movement number three now. We're gonna go for one of the classics. We're gonna do some body weight dips. What I like to do with these, take a nice wide grip. Elbows coming away from the body as we come down. Trying to find a nice squeeze in the bottom of the pec. I'll show you what I mean. Keep it nice and controlled. As you come down, you should feel a nice big stretch. Squeeze your pecs together to lift yourself back up. Keep it nice and controlled guys, you should feel a really nice pump at the bottom of that movement. Aiming for 10 to 12 reps again here. Keep it nice and controlled. All right, it's time to round off this workout now. We've done all the heavy weight, we've got the tissue damage in. Now what we wanna do is finish off with a nice big pump and get all of the blood and nutrients rushing straight into the muscle. So we're gonna do some wide cable flies. We're not looking to overload the weight here, we've done the heavy stuff already. We just want to make sure you concentrate on a big stretch and high reps. We're going to aim for 20 reps per set for three sets. Let's see what we can do. Right guys, if that doesn't get the blood in your chest, I don't really know what will. So that's our four moves, bench press, incline dumbbell press, dips, body weight, and then finish off with big sets on the wide cable fly. Give that move the next time you have a big chest workout. If you like our videos and you wanna keep up to date with us, hit our subscribe button below, and hopefully we'll see you again very, very soon. Take care guys.